You often get that feeling, there must be a better way. Hey there, Daniel Hartman, Community Machine Recycle New Brunswick, with another virtue of the day, creativity. Now, in lean manufacturing or lean principles in general, there's a school of thought of when things annoy us, that we do things differently, which is creativity. In the therapeutic realm, the reason a lot of people get into therapy is that life is so painful, they just say, it just can't keep going on like this, which gets them to be creative. So it's like that, the darkest moment is just before the dawn. Sometimes getting to that threshold where things feel really tough, that is the birthplace of creativity. Now, I was standing here looking at the thing in this, I said, whoa, here's a wide brim hat. You know, it's creativity like this. Hey, I don't want to get sunburned because I got my fair skin and I don't want to end up having skin cancer. Boom. Challenge solved. <laughs> and there's so many, I mean, you could take a piece of cardboard, cut a hole out, pull it over your head, put a baseball cap on top. Do what you gotta do. But really important thing is just to not let other people hold us back and to really hear that inner voice, that calling of leaving things better than we found them because really at the end of the day, what do, what do we want our legacy to be? And times and places where we'll see creativity or what creativity brings up for people in terms of you know, great artists, musicians, visual artists, musicians, they're both. But what keeps us all from realizing a lot of times as children, we all have these artistic gifts where we can just give freely. But then over time, some people will say, oh, I'm a good drawer. I'm not a good drawer. But what about saying we've got our individualistic style? We've got all these ways of being able to express ourselves. They're all beautiful ways. And not every drawing needs to be mechanically perfect. I mean, I know for me, I like to sketch mechanical drawings. But also, I love drawing quirky little cartoonish images that conjure up certain feelings. And if I made those cartoonish drawings to be so rigid, like a mechanical drawing, it would lose that emotion. It's part of how I can convey emotion in things. And actually just today, I came up with, oh, check it out, check it out. Oh, is it right here? This, this little guy here, he's got a little book saying assertiveness training. Actually kind of sits like that. You recognize that face? those freckles. Anyhow, so, <laughs> and the other thing I came up with reading about a, from a book about depression and how to overcome is this idea of a rubber ducky being used by software developers and being able to talk, having the rubber ducky there as a cue to externalize the things we're thinking about in order to comprehend them differently, which I feel like the same similar thing is used in different veins. Like Japanese train conductors will point and say that they're stopping the train when they're stopping the train because it cues up directions instead of just going through the motions where so much of the time we're driving to a place but don't remember all the landmarks because we're on autopilot. And when the stakes are really high, it can't be on autopilot. So that's where verbalizing. So anyhow, creativity once again. I came up with this dude, ask me anything, which I think about my ideal version of my future self. And I tell you, I want to be held by this guy. So if there's someone we're really going to take advice from, it's going to be your future selves. If there's someone who's really going to teach us about empathy, compassion, that's going to be going in, feeling what our younger self was feeling, what experiences 
we feel we missed out on, and then going in as our today selves, our future selves, whatever it is, and nurturing that in. Most beautiful thing ever. And coming from a guy who has a machine shop, there's two sides to that coin in terms of the inventiveness, the creativity, and then getting to work, getting dirty, making things. Anyhow, until next time, keep paying the bills. Please like, please subscribe, please comment below, and all the best. More virtue is coming soon. I'm not going to say it's going to be every day because it often isn't, but I'm going to try. Till next time.